Hello friend, in this tutorial I will show you how you can get started with Selector Sub Pro 5.0 version. It's very simple and straightforward, just in 3 steps you can get started with it. So what you have to do, go to selectorsub.com, here under products you will find Selector Sub Pro, as well as direct from the website homepage you can click on Selector Sub Pro here. It will open this page, here you can see all the, uh, it is uh, like basic details are available here and these are the three simple step so right now this is uh, I'm creating video for 5.0 so 5.0 is currently available for Chrome browser so here you can follow these steps first step is add selector sub pro to your Chrome browser so you can add this so click let's click on this and here you click on add to Chrome add extension it will be added here just make sure that uh, to make it visible on the toolbar so you will have to click this extension logo and here pin it to toolbar now selector sub pro logo is there on toolbar next step is now check out the plans and take the free trial to experience the time saver innovation so here you click and it will take you to this page where you can compare the free version premium version and business so according to your need like let's say you are individual and you want to buy the pro version then in that case you can check out as per your uh, like location if you are from india you can check out these plans if you are from outside india then you can check out these plans if you want for team then you can check out these plans and if it is like for enterprise then feel free to connect with us okay so let's say for an example you are an individual and you want to take a free, free trial or you want to take a plan in uh, like usd in that case you click on this page and it will redirect you to this page and here you can see that all the plans are available like let's say you want to buy the lifetime plan which is the most popular and most of the people prefer because uh, nobody wants uh, generally like the recurring payment as well as like more costly and many a times it uh, like bank cards doesn't allow for recurring payment so mostly people prefer for lifetime so we also recommend that so here you click on this Slack plan, it will take you to the Stripe payment page. Here you can enter your details and buy this subscription, uh, Selector Sub Pro subscription plan. This is lifetime, for lifetime, just only one payment you have to make. As well as within three days, like if you, let's say you do, doesn't like it, then in that case, you can claim for 100% refund and we will refund your 100% amount within three days. So now here you take the plan after taking this subscription make sure you enter the email id same email address on from which you want to take the subscription after this you will receive an email email with the credential on your same email which you have entered while taking the subscription here okay just open that email and follow the those steps and you will be all set just make sure that if you didn't didn't find this email in your inbox in that case please check the promotion folder as well as spam folder 100% it should be there if it is not then please connect with us on selector sub live chat or you can write to us at selector sub uh, at support support at selector sub .com. now so once you have installed and you have taken the subscription now you will be having these credential username and password what you have to do like you can just uh, once we will suggest to restart your browser after restarting your browser or open your website in a new tab here click on this selector sub logo and here you can enter those credentials which you have received in your email now this is 5.0 feature that you will be able to open selector sub pro just by clicking on this logo here so now here you can enter your credential and then you will be able to log in Earlier we used to open Selector Sub Pro here in DevTools like this here. Here also you can log in with the same thing. But now because this is more easy so we will recommend to use this way. So let us enter the login credential here and we will log in. So now after entering and clicking on login we have logged in and this is Selector Sub Pro 5.0 version. So here you can see that all the selectors and everything. Now there is an inspector button here this inspector icon you just click on this and start inspecting the element to generate the selectors and xpath everything. It's very simple and easy straightforward to get started with selectors of pro. 
here you also like if you want to disable this inspector just right click and you see that it, it got disabled you also can just right click and you will find the uh, selector sub pro in the context menu id name and everything so this is how you can use the selector sub 5.0 and get started with it here you can generate the access based x path attribute filter is there code all those features are here in uh, selector sub 5.0 you can check out the version same thing like if you open now selector sub pro in dev tools you will find it there and it will be logged in you will not have to log in again the new features which are there so let me just quickly explain them also like one more thing that you can open this selector sub pro just by clicking on this logo as well as just by pressing for uh, mac it is command shift s and for windows it is command uh, control shift s here uh, so if you want to write your own x path or selectors you just inspect any element here like this and start typing here you will see that auto suggest and everything like it was there before if you have used it everything is there if you make any mistake it will show you wrong valid invalid what is missing all those things it used to show if you want to generate access based xpath click on this button and then insp start inspecting those two elements like this and it will be generated you can copy edit all those features are there then uh, here attribute filter is there if you want to generate xpath and selector with code you can just click on this it will be generating here you can change change this command if you, you want to generate locator page you can click on this and start inspecting the elements so you see that locators are being generated page locator page is being generated if you want to uh, use the selector healing feature like verifying multiple x path and selector then you just click on this button and here you can paste your code and you would be able to verify all selectors here debugger feature is there to use the debugger feature there's a one limitation in the side panel that you will have to keep it open like dev tools you will have to open dev tools no need to open selectors of pro here in dev tool just open the dev tools and now then if you will click on dev debugger button debugger icon it will start the debugger after five seconds here you have the like you see that it has started here you have the quote double quote feature like if you want to generate x path and selectors with double quote you click on this it will generate with double quotes then you have the option to customize the ui here like if you want to customize anything that you can do you can generate the playwright selectors as well auto generated playwright selector so now if you inspect any element it will generate the play, playwright selectors as well for that you see pw selector and if you want to reset all the values you can reset you can find your profile like your plan here your uh, you can find the tutorials if you need any help you can connect with us here if you have any issue you can raise the issue here you can find your browser version here and the selector sub pro version here so this is how you can use it and you can scroll everything is there make sure that uh, like if you will have if you have opened it here like selectors of pro here as well as in the dev tools then it will work on dev tools only it will not be working here so because both the panel will not work together so either you use it here or use it here if you have opened both of them together then dev tools one will be the highest priority so make sure that you have keep it close when you want to use it you can also expand it for the better view if you want so this is selector sub pro guys and this is how you can simply start with it and keep saving your time thank you and please let us know your feedback in the comment if you have any feedback any problem feel free to reach out to us